It's been a drought of international football for about 16 years, I believe, in Gibraltar, you know. And these clubs, they come because they know me. Um, I ask them and, and it, it is embarrassing, you know, it is embarrassing. Uh, living in Gibraltar that has so much money, so many big companies over here, the, you know, international companies that, that actually sponsor uh, international um, teams abroad. And yet we can't even, you know, it's, we can't even have a stadium that you can, that you can feel proud of, you know, uh, because to be honest, uh, I'm losing my patience, you know, yeah. I, I came over here, I said, uh, you know, I'll put on hold my football career because I, I want to give something back to Gibraltar. Yeah. Um, and all I've received is obstacles everywhere, you know, and, uh, even to the point that uh, even on my development, uh, development role, uh, I can't even speak to any management people within the Gibraltar Sports uh, Ledger Authority. Yeah. Um, I might be wrong, but I believe they're, they're, tax, they're paid by taxpayers. And uh, if I go as a development officer from the Football Association, then correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm the client. Uh, and they're the service provider. Yeah, yeah. And it seems to be the other way around at the moment. Uh, they're the client, I'm the service provider. And uh, it's just constant battle. And, uh, it's, and it's getting to the point that you know, I'm thinking, well, can I take football any further? And it's not fair on you. Uh, all the players, all the people of Gibraltar want to see their football team and their uh, uh, flag flying through many different tournaments, etc. It basically all boils down to the fact that you need more resources and better facilities. Yeah. yeah there was... The potential is there with the players. I know that you have fantastic players. That's and right. They have a lot of dedication. Yeah. You're also a very dedicated yeah. person. It's just providing you with the platform for you to really launch football yeah. off the ground. We need, we need that platform, we need yeah. that platform, we need the facili better facilities, uh, better communication, mm. a bit more respect, mm. which, Definitely. which is uh, something that really It's the needs. biggest point, Jib, it, yeah. it, 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 it deserves more respect, that's and, for sure. You know, and through the fans, you know, it's like I tell a lot of people, uh, and obviously uh, the players, you know, the, for me the, the players have adapted tremendously, you know, and, and I... I gave myself a four-year, five-year plan uh, for players to adapt to a professional approach in training. They've done it very quickly, you know, so there's always players coming in and out, but it's understandable, but th they're doing it, you know, there's still a lot of hard work. I'd, I'd love to have them semi-pros or, or mm. professional. Um, and then you've got fans that, the same way as the players are learning, you know, Gibraltar hasn't seen regular international football, so it's a question a lot of people say, well, there was only 500 uh, fans in, in the last tournament compared to 3,500 last year. Yeah, you get upset, but we have to accept it, that it's something new for them as well. Yeah. Um, and eventually they, they'll adapt if we can carry on giving them games, they'll adapt and they'll think, well, this is what I want, you know. This it's progression. Right? That's it. Yeah. Uh, Every time you brought a place, whether it you rains, lose, snow, whatever, yeah. I'm going to be there. Uh, so we've got to be patient as well, yeah. you know, with, uh, with fans. Uh, they do expect a lot from us as well, and they've got to be patient as well yeah. with, the, with the team. But, they've got uh, to understand that you are trying, but you're, you're, you're stagnating at the moment because you can't progress any further. That's right, you know. And not because uh, you don't want to, you don't have the potential no. to, but because you're not given the chance to. That's, if you look at, you know, what I wanted to do with Gibraltar, and hopefully we do get into UEFA, which is obviously a sticky yeah. area at the moment, because not even myself, I, I don't even know what's going on yeah. at the moment. Um, I didn't want to go in like Ferros went in, and yeah. Liechtenstein, San Marino, and they, they just went in there, yeah, they get money, but they were thrashed all the time. So when I spoke to the GFA, I said, well, if you're going forward with this, then I'll take over, prepare them, and once we go in, yeah, it doesn't mean we're going to win every game, yeah. but at least... It's experience. Yeah, and, and we're not going to get thrashed all the time. So that's what I'm doing with the team at the moment. But obviously we need to, we need to, we've gone to a level, now we need to go to the next level. That's next right. level, you're going to have players that are semi-pros, mm -hmm. a professional, Andorra. Andorra now, all of a sudden, you don't thrash Andorra anymore. Or San Marino, or Liechtenstein. Why? Because 
the, the actual team, they've made it professional yeah. and they've put it into a league, like Andorra plays in, uh, in a league in Catalonia. So it's getting the experience, yeah. uh, San Marino the same and Liechtenstein the same. And, and this is, these are things that we've got to look at uh, for Gibraltar as well. Uh, how do we take it forward? What, what do we do? Uh, uh, if we want to be, be a member of UEFA, and like I tell a lot of people, forget it. UEFA are not just going to take us in, give us money for development and not expect us to play. Because if that would have been the case, then Andorra would have done that, yeah. San Marino would have done that, and Liechtenstein and all the, the likes are small. So we need, we need to be prepared. And obviously uh, we need the, the proper backing and uh, facilities. the facilities. Because football, football is so big nowadays that, you know, nearly every country in the world uses football yeah. uh, to help social life, yeah. you know, uh, get kids off the street. Uh, you know, if they're bored, we've seen what's happened in the in UK uh, this past Rats. week. <laughs> Riots. You know, Give they, them a football. <laughs> yeah, they get bored. Yeah. You know, obviously, Gibraltar's smaller, but that's what boredom can lead up to. You know, you've got no, nothing else to do, and, and football does attract so many people. So. And there's nothing set up over here in Gibraltar for that. You know, there's, it's just clubs uh, with their teams. Uh, really that's about it. Football pitches are on gym to play. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need, we need, you know, there's a lot of people say there's, there's not enough area. I think there is. Yeah. I think there, there is still area, a lot of area. You know, you've got um, the lighthouse. Uh, that area there, you know, okay, you've, they've, you've done a park there. Mm -hmm. How many people are going to use that park? Yeah. You know? park. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. in winter, hardly anyone. This area there that you could have done, um, like you have in many countries now, you've got artificial grass there, and you've got like five or six small pitches with a dome, you know, a proper dome constructed. Um, and you go in there in increment weather and all that, so you can carry on training. You, you can also play. Mm. So you've got more pitches like so that. Um, you've got probably the uh, uh, Victoria Stadium. You've got a five-a-side pitch, a golf, mm -hmm. and an archery. Now I've never seen anyone do archery there. I didn't even know there was an archery. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've got the golf as well that to be honest with you everyone that plays golf goes to Spain to Spain to yeah. play so that's a nice little area that's 70 by 60 that you can convert it 70 by 60 pitch another small pitch there yeah. that you could probably enclose as well make it to an academy that I wanted to introduce an academy make it for the academy make it for a junior football to play and also have it as a development center for you know, uh, social cases and, and, and things like that. So there is, there is room. Yeah. It's whether they want to do it or not. Yeah. It's whether they're interested to. That. But when are we hope you get some sponsorship and we'll do everything we can to yeah. get your message out there. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Eh? Vale, thank you very much.